Here are six uses of Botox that you might not have known about. I'm Dr. Barrett and I'm a board certified plastic surgeon and Botox has been a miracle drug in my opinion for treating wrinkles, okay? I have patients that come in every three to four months to help reduce the wrinkles by getting little tiny little Botox injections in their face. But did you know that there are a lot of other uses for Botox? And here are six of them, so let's get into it. Number one, acne. A small amount of Botox has actually been shown to reduce the amount of oil production from your skin and can actually reduce acne. Number two, it can reduce the size of your trapezius. So I have a lot of trans patients and just regular patients whose trapezius muscles are very large and sometimes causes neck pain. And you can inject about 50 units into each trapezius to reduce the size of your neck muscles. Number three, Botox works really well on migraines. So there are different ways to do this. Typically a neurologist is the type of person that would, you would wanna consult with to get this done, but you can inject in certain patterns or throughout your head that can help control the migraines, all right? Botox was being used for migraines and it was discovered that it actually helped with wrinkles. So if you're a chronic migraine sufferer, you may wanna look into Botox to help treat your migraines. Now, sometimes if the migraines start from this area, getting the Botox here to treat the migraines will also help treat your wrinkles and insurance can cover it. Ever suffer from sweaty armpits? Botox is great to help control hyperhidrosis, all right? So a lot of people can get it into the armpits, about 50 units per side. Some people in their hands, which is a little more painful, and their feet. So if you're one of those people that sweats through all your shirts, come in, get some Botox, and it will actually help reduce that sweating. Ever get really cold fingers so much so that you can actually get blisters on the tips of your fingers? It's a disease called Raynaud's disease. And if you get Botox in the base of all the fingers where your blood vessels go into your fingers, it prevents them from contracting. So it establishes better blood supply to your fingers so you're no longer affected by the cold, all right? So this is a big game changer for people that have Raynaud's disease. Next one is depression. So this is based off of the facial feedback hypothesis. So if you were to inject Botox in the brow area here, your body is able to sense that you're not frowning as much, okay? Because Botox relaxes the facial muscles. And if you're not frowning, your body's like, am I happier? There's a theory that's being tested right now of whether or not depression is actually being decreased. And there are some studies that are saying that the incidence of depression goes down when you inject Botox in the frowning muscles. So check it out. That's it. That's our six alternative uses for Botox. If you want to see more interesting videos like this, make sure you hit our subscribe button, thumbs up if you like what you saw today. Feel free to leave your comments, questions, feedback right here on my YouTube page. I will get back to you. And if you want to see another cool video about Botox, make sure you click over here.